Is there morning. somebody I can talk to? Um, there's court officers here. The court officers have a right to go into this building. My job here and why I want to be here is to make sure that that happens as peacefully as possible. It, it is going to happen because the court has said it's going to happen. Well, sir, we believe that the decision is wrong. That this man, as this in here, is a vulnerable person. If they throw him out in the street, he's got nowhere to go. That is illegal. They, can't, they cannot do that. He's a private landlord. He's been paid. He's getting his money. Yeah, he's gone to the rent. courts. He's paying rent. And he's paying yeah. his rent. He's, paying he's a vulnerable rent. person if he goes out there in the street. Now, we're saying this. The reason why we're here is because our friend, Nigel Ferminger, two years ago, was faced yeah. the very same situation and he commits suicide. Right. We don't want this to happen to a very vulnerable, another vulnerable person. This process has been going on for the last six months. Uh, the gentleman inside has been involved in that process for the last six months. He's been offered alternative accommodation from here. He, he, he has been. And where has he been moved to? I don't know. This is a district. No, this is, right? That's where I'm There's a private landlord in here, and he doesn't want to rent anymore to the DHSS. That is the issue. That is what we're dealing with. Yeah? And he doesn't care what happens to the vulnerable person. We do. You're an officer of the state, being paid by the state. We've told you this man is vulnerable. We've told you that, we've told you that two years ago the same thing has happened to another person who's committed suicide. Yeah. Sorry? That's not down to me to speak to him. The man is terrified. We've just explained to you he's a very vulnerable person. He's afraid of the state. He's afraid of the police exactly because what is this happening. Exactly what's happening. It's not your job to throw people out of this state. Again. Oh, so I hope you're not going to instigate violence today. I'm not going to. Well, okay. I hope not. And what I've offered to do is take him personally to the council, emergency housing people, and make sure that he gets housed. I will not see him spend the night on the street because you are right. I have a duty of care. Under Section 10 of the Criminal Law Act 1977, you will be committing the offence of obstructing a court officer. No, no, sorry, that is not true. Premises. That is not true, and you know it is not true. I've explained to you, and you can verify what I'm saying by speaking to the council right now. You can speak to the chief executive of the Canon Council now and ask him to put his officer on the line, house officer on the line, and he can cut somebody down here within a half hour, an hour, with the keys to a flat. He can do. Don't and that's all we're asking for you to do, Please, officer. Please, can you speak right. to Council? That that's what's going to happen. As an officer. So I'm going to ask you again, are you prepared to move? If you're not prepared to move, you will be arrested. We are prepared to move, the when under the conditions yeah, we've yeah. just told. Only... The Chief you're Executive, the court the chief executive will so confirm if you do not move, you. then you will be arrested under yeah. Section 10. The that Chief Executive of the Council Are you prepared to move? When, I think Sir, that is wrong. Would you like to get out of the I way? Or I think that is wrong. I think that is wrong. I've explained to you. You're going to be arrested. I've, I've explained to you the terms Please. of which I will walk away. Release your grip. I will walk away. Release your grip. I will walk away from here. Release your grip. When the council officer, the chief executive of the council, release your grip. Don't break my tongue. Don't break my tongue. Release your grip. Don't break my tongue. Don't break my tongue. Release your grip. Don't break my tongue. You're going to be arrested. Don't break my tongue. Don't break my tongue. Don't break my tongue. Don't break my tongue. Look, I'll walk away peacefully. You're pulling me. You're pulling me. Look at what you've done already. Look what you've done already. But there's the injury, the first injury of the state. But there we are, look. Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Attack him on Just give me a breath. I'll give you one more.
Um, may I introduce myself? I'm Inspector Chris Moore from the Charitable Support Group and basically I'm here to assist the policing operation. The paperwork from the local officers have been checked and is correct. We really do need to speak to Mark. Well, you We're, already have through the window yeah, upstairs. You're obstructing justice. Yeah. And that to get there, we'll have to obviously try and remove it at some stage. You understand that? It's the last, yeah, yeah. And we don't want that. I want people, want court process to go ahead, and I want people like yourself just to remove yourself so we can get into the actual location to speak to Mark. Okay? But we haven't spoken to Mark. Well, the police officer is yeah. speaking that, to him through the window. You, I just want you to be aware. Yeah. That, that's all. I want to get through so that don't door say you haven't again. spoken yeah, okay. to Mark, you and you guys aware. have. You know, how can you evict someone, and I'm telling you, how can you evict someone, they're telling them the room is too small, they should have given him somewhere straight away, it's bullshit. No one, none of you has made any effort at all. Well, you can do their job, everyone's happy. Yeah, obviously you don't agree with what's happening today, but um, we can't stand here and debate about that. We're just doing your to... job. Yeah, do you know what I mean? You're under arrest. They've taken my mobile phone. I want it back. Where is my mobile phone? Why are you taking it back? Are we clear? No, no, I guess they have to make it. 